Create custom motion graphics with animated and stylized shapes in Shapes from FX Factory. Shapes works exclusively in Final Cut Pro. The base presets are in the Generators browser under Shapes. There are additional effects in the Titles browser and the Effects browser also under Shapes. The effects include strokes, lighting, shadows, and motion blur. More on those in a minute. Let's jump in with a static shape. I'll drag Shapes from the basic theme to my timeline. The default is a square with rounded sides that has an outline that animates on. Going through the parameters, we can add a fade in and out animation. You can choose between square and circle and adjust its corner roundness and the width and height. There are position, scale, and rotation settings. Plus, you can move and rotate the shape with the on-screen controls. The style controls allow you to adjust the color and look of the fill and outline. Plus, the outline right on section gives you different options on how the outline animates. Finally, there are some additional effects. 3D rotation controls, shear to distort the shape, and 3D extrude controls. The Shapes preset from the Polygon theme gives you all the same options plus a very cool on-screen control to change the amount of sides from triangle to a 12-sided dodecagon. Additionally, within the Basic and Polygon themes, you have Move and Reveal presets. Again, these have all the same customization options of the Shapes presets but Move gives you options to animate the moves on the X, Y, and Z axes in 3D. Here I'll choose the In animation on the X axis. The X In kind dropdown chooses different methods of animation. I'll change the value to make it come in from off screen. Check the X Out Continue box if you'd like it to animate out in the same direction. The Reveal presets give you different reveal options, like Reveal 2, which comes in from behind a mask, Reveal Wipe, and Reveal Self, which has a mask scale it on. Now that we've seen what all the different shape presets can do, let's see the additional effects. Use the effects from the Effects Browser to add them to individual shapes, or use the effects from the Titles Browser to affect everything below as an adjustment layer. The Motion Blur presets give you a nice motion blur when the shapes move. There are no additional parameters, just choose between heavy or light blur. The Move Effect presets give you all the moves we saw in the Move Generator presets. Apply this effect to shapes or titles without animations, or create more complex moves by compounding them together. The Stroke effect allows you to build more complex, customizable graphics especially when using advanced compound clip and blend mode techniques. The lighting preset allows you to add a light to a single element or compound clip of elements by applying the effect. Use this to get creative with different looks. The light has an on-screen control for placement and shapes can move in and out of the light. Control parameters like fall off and shadow casting. Add light rays and prism effects. This is very cool and something you'd expect in Motion or After Effects, but it works flawlessly right here in Final Cut. The Neon effect gives you another lighting look, adding a neon glow to your shape. Finally, you can add drop shadow and animated long shadow effects to your shapes. The effects work on anything with transparency. Apply them to shapes, compound clips, or existing titles and elements for cool animations and looks. Now that you've seen everything that comes with FX Factory Shapes, what next? Everything from simple motion graphics like lower thirds and text boxes to more complex shape-driven animations. The only limit is your creativity. Try out a wide range of great audio and visual effects at fxfactory.com.